Cheese lovers. What's your favorite one? My parents recently came back to Australia from overseas and brought back some Parmesan cheese from Parma, Italy and it's the best thing I've ever had you literally just break it off and dip it in balsamic or honey. Is it boring to like extra super mature white cheddar? I can eat it from the block on. I get genuine actual cheese cravings more powerful than nicotine or anything. Typing this comment out is already generating a Pavlovian saliva response. As soon as I get home from work I'm eating some. Probably in sandwich form but even that's not a given after a 14 hour night shift. Brie. I fed it to my infant daughter at a picnic when she could barely sit up. Put a bit on the tip of my finger and held it out. She nibbled it off and idly chewed on it for a moment while looking around. Then her head snapped back to me and she flapped her arms. I held out a bit more and she lunged at my finger and bit it trying to get all the brie. All through childhood and to this day she calls it the cheese that I like. And quat. The grocery store where I used to live had a lovely cheese, white. A little bit crumbly. Strongly flavored but not overpowering, with bits of mango in it. I still think about and crave that cheese but I do not remember the name of it or even the specific type of cheese. So I can't locate it to order it. None of the grocery stores where I live now seem to have anything similar. Street. Angels. Which is a brie. Takes first place. So utterly smooth and creamy with a hint of mushroom. It's what I would give to people who don't like brie. It would make a convert out of anyone. Humboldt fog comes in as a close second. Forget about crackers with that one. I could just eat it off the spreader. In fact, I want some now. It's like if brie and a mild blue cheese had a baby and ricotta baptized it. Men of Reddit. You are given a choice, a stick or a rock. What's your choice and why? Tricky tricky question. Especially with no use case in mind. A stick is always a stick could a rock be a stone or a gem? A stick will eventually rot and no longer be a stick unless you keep it in conditions for it fossilize in which case it becomes more of a rock. On the other hand, a rock if sheltered from wind and water will always remain a rock if not it will turn to sand. Sadly sand doesn't turn into a tree frown which would make the decision easier since both could turn into the other. Alas sticks are good for bonking while rocks are good for clonking so I choose stick. In one of your replies you said that both the stick and the rock are best possible stick and rock they could be. As such. If we include precious gems under the definition of a perfect rock I'm picking that so I can sell it for some sweet change. If precious gems are not included them I'm picking stick so I can swing it around like a lightsaber. Now this is the real quality content I follow this sub for. And if I can get a stick that I can use as a sword. Gun. And walking stick? Chef's kiss absolutely perfect quality choice. Rock may be cool but gets heavy and boring a little faster. A stick of what? A rock of what? Seems like a trick question. Like it could be either the stick of gold. Or a rock as in jewel or something. At face value. I'll say rock. Because I've seen many others choose stick. And if there's one thing I'm not it's a follower. This question is much more difficult than I was anticipating. Aside from the critical. How cool is the rock? And how cool is the stick? Factor. I lean slightly toward stick. For its slight edge and utility. How was sex after going a year without it? I was celibate for three years after a really tough breakup and just not feeling interested in any kind of intimacy. Then when I met my current partner it felt natural the first time and not awkward like I had expected. Since I had some nerves about it again. Didn't have sex after like three years and I thought that I don't like it so I was a bit afraid when my new relationship started because I knew we would get to the point of having sex. But it turned out an amazing experience. He was really thoughtful and did everything for me to enjoy it. I can say it's the first time I actually liked sex because before it was something I thought I had to do. Now it's something I really enjoy doing. I did it after some major gynecological surgery and it was a tad scary to get back in the game given I'd been in so much pain previously and had to have additional surgery a few months after the first. If I was nervous, my husband was petrified. He was so sure he'd rip me apart he wanted to get a hotel room near the best ER in town. Just in case, to be fair. He did watch me nearly die twice during all this. But we got over it semicolon went slow. Steady semicolon nothing fancy for quite a while. The pain was 100% my fear of being hurt the first few times. I'd been given the green light medically but it was still scary. Doctors don't know everything. 43F here. I went through several periods of celibacy in my lifetime. Last round was 3. 5 years. Met someone on an app and he was the definition of what I'm looking for. Things progressed very easily and it was a very loving night I spent with him. We had sex 3 times. The initial entry was a bit painful. Just like when you lose your virginity. But aside from that it was perfectly normal. Can't wait to see him again. Which animals do you feel close to? I wouldn't say soulmates but I very much enjoy looking after the local hedgehogs. The first one came out of hibernation a few days ago and was sat patiently at my back door at 11pm waiting for some nibbles. GF brought home a kitten and I went over the moon for this little prick. Then we got another kitten and Hess cool as hell too. I've been living with her and we're splitting up. But I think I'm going to miss the cats more than her. Seems every relationship I've been in results in leaving behind my animals. It is what it is. Wasps. I don't know why. But they love me. They are just kinda chill around me, I had one fall down my shirt this morning and I calmly picked it out and it didn't sting me. 
They used to follow me up and down the street as a kid sometimes during the summer. Weird animals. I don't understand them. Only been stung twice and that was in the same day when I accidentally hit the nest when I moved a hanging wooden swing. My special person has three lovely cats. Two of them are brothers and look almost identical except one has a chonkier face. They are both very talkative. But one of them has full on me alversations with me every time he sees me and gets excited. The third one is older and the most affectionate to his humans. But not always friendly with his younger housemates. But he's still a good boy. Waking up covered in all three cats while still cuddling from the night before with my befriend is the best feeling I've had in a while. I've always said my spirit animal is an old cat. I'm perpetually cranky, tired, and introverted. I love to sleep. And while I can be pretty affectionate when I want to be, it has to be on my terms and I get uncomfortable if I don't have a way out. If you're talking specific animals, there's a couple of neighborhood cats I'm friends with that come around looking for pets and back scratches every once in a while. 